Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today um, I basically, in today's video, um, we're going to talk about new fragrances and we're going to talk about some very, very, very popular fragrances at the moment. I obviously have been to Exans, there's lots of new fragrances, but not every single brand is going to Exans. Um, I don't work with every single brand that's on the market or you're going to have some affordable, some like Middle Eastern brands that are releasing new fragrances or some of the perfumes are very, very, very popular. So I was just looking online and I realized I want to try 27 perfumes and I was just not willing to blind buy 27 fragrances. So what I did, I got 27 samples of the most hyped up perfumes or new releases that everyone is like going crazy for and i'm gonna review all of them obviously i only have a sample so i didn't wear them it's just what i'm smelling like kind of first impression i already tested them before i kind of know how the opening smells like i kind of know how the dry down smells like i don't particularly know how they perform so we're not gonna talk about that um i'm gonna split this video okay i'm gonna split this video because 27 fragrances are way too many and I realized that I actually have some samples of some new releases that I felt in love and I never talked about them. So we're going to have 15 in here, three actually, I got them at Exans, the other ones, the other 12. I purchased them and then the second part we're going to have the next 15 fragrances, 15 samples that I purchased. You're going to see, it's a mix of everything, okay? Um... My problem is that out of those 27 samples and besides the, the other three that I really, really like and want, I like a lot. Like, I like a lot and I don't have space. For those of you that are new to my channel, um, this, what you're seeing here, no, this is the new background. Like, this is not my perfume collection. This is the new background, okay? I have over there, my old subscribers know, my old background. Uh, I've got over there my other shelves and uh, probably twice, yeah, I've got twice as much as you see in here and you obviously you can't see everything. So I don't have any space. Um, I'm going to try to be as, I don't know, picky as possible, okay, because I don't want to purchase 20 fragrances. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see. We are going to see. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget, obviously, to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. Let's start. Um, like I said, I've got here 15 samples, 15 fragrances. I basically um, I'm, don't know what I'm going to do because I love most of what's in here and I just want to spend that much money, but... I feel like I kind of need them. Uh, we're going to start with the ones that I got at Exans, okay? I have only three. The other ones I purchased recently because everyone is talking about them on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. And I was like, I need to know. I need to know why people are loving these fragrances that much. The first one, it breaks my heart because this fragrance is absolutely amazing. It has one of my favorite notes. It's the main note and that's chocolate. But it, I can't get it here in the UK. It's exclusive for Istanbul, I believe. This one is Imperial Malt from Manos Hierakinis. He has three new releases. This one, a tuberose, that, that one is exclusive as well. And then he has another one that you can actually purchase. But this one in particular, it's just so good. It's just, it's boozy, dark chocolate with a touch of patchouli. I'm gonna tell you some of the notes. Dark chocolate, brown sugar, whiskey, vanilla, patchouli. How good is that? How freaking good is that? It's delicious, but it's still perfumey. Like you can smell some patchouli. If you absolutely hate and detest patchouli, maybe this is not for you uh, because you can smell some patchouli. It's not that prominent. So don't think that, oh, it's a patchouli bomb. It's not that. But it's, it's boozy. It's definitely boozy. You're definitely getting the whiskey. The chocolate is dark. It's... It's super sexy. It's kind of unisex. It's sweet. But like, if you're a male and you like sweeter perfumes, I feel like you're going to fall in love with this one. Again, I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to try my best to get a bottle because I really, 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 really want a bottle of this one. Um, You know how much I love Methexis and Immortel. I absolutely love those two. And this is another one from the brand I just love and adore. And I need a bottle ASAP. But yeah. 
can't find it now it's exclusive to istanbul i'm gonna try i'm gonna try my best because i don't give up when i really 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 like something i do not give up moving on something that i can get because it's from a brand from here in the uk from london this is memoirs london and the newest one aurora they actually have i think like five new ones this one listen i'm gonna put pictures for every single bottle i feel like the picture is not doing justice to how the bottle actually looks like because i saw it at exams and it's stunning it's their best bottle if you ask me and actually they have the like sculpture collection those are amazing as well but just the colors is stunning it's stunning okay this is a perfect spring fragrance if you're not necessarily into fruity or floral perfumes because it has a bit of both but in the same time they're not that prominent i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain aurora has marine notes melon pineapple jasmine vanilla sandalwood mask this definitely feels like a very very creamy sandalwood with a bit of musk a touch of, van of vanilla and then you're getting those fruits but the fruit the fruity notes are not necessary like tart or too fruity it's this like creamy like second skin not just second skin because you can smell more than that but it's like super creamy musky sandalwood and then you have this like i don't know like fruity touches kind of like a it's not whipped cream because it's not as sweet as whipped cream but kind of like the texture of a whipped cream if that makes sense and then kind of like infused with that melon with that pineapple and it's a bit floral yes it has some jasmine and the marine notes is not i you know that i particularly don't like marine notes i have some fragrances with marine notes that i don't mind them this is one of them because it's not like prominent it's not salty it's not it doesn't smell like i don't know sometimes marine notes they're stinky you know this is definitely not that this is super clean this is such like i don't know a pretty super feminine oh i really like this one i really like i really like the fruitiness how it's kind of like creamy almost milky that fruitiness but a bit musky as well and it's the mask that i like love this one love this one um i can't i need to get my hands on a bottle because especially like the packaging it's stunning honestly it's the colors I, i'm gonna insert the picture but the picture i'm telling you is not doing justice the next one and the last one that i got at exams is from shabu you know that i love this one this brand and this one is their newest one caprice the jenny i think jenny is it a jenny or jenny i have no idea this one is so different from the start till the end because some of the notes are lychee blackcurrant raspberry cherry wood musk when you spray it you're definitely getting mainly like blackberry with a bit of lychee a little bit of cherry as well but it's kind of a mix of like a fruit bowl you know it's like a fruit bowl and then slowly but surely you're getting that wood so if in the opening is super like spring summer the dry down is getting sexy like the dry down is getting sexy the caprice line is definitely extremely underrated from this brand i do have the other ones absolutely love them this one is the darkest one i would say because the other ones are perfect for like daytime spring summer but this one is definitely more for like the nighttime especially with that wood in the dry down which you can smell but it's not a stinky wood it's not too strong it's not too prominent it's just like the perfect balance um so shabu caprice the jenny jenny i know um it's a very 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 nice one um added to their collection now moving on to the ones that i got them yesterday not yesterday i got them two days ago but like during the night time like i got home very late and i opened my person and i smelled them um it was like midnight and i was smelling perfumes and then i tested them again yesterday i tested them like properly the first one listen this new release is everywhere you cannot escape it it's everywhere on instagram on i was about to say facebook but who nobody uses facebook anymore um youtube is everywhere everyone is reviewing this this fragrance i was like okay let's see how good it can be especially because it's another cherry perfume and i was like i've got every single cherry that you can think of the previous one has cherry as well i don't need another cherry fragrance this is Fragrance Dubois, Cyrene. 
I was not expecting this, okay? I do have some fragrances from Fragrance Dubois. It's a brand I really like, but all of the fragrances are very unisex. They don't really have one that is feminine. Just... <sighs> the reviews are real. All of the reviews are real. This is incredible. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. It's It's... It's amazing. Some of the notes, the notes don't really make sense to me. They kind of do, but they kind of don't. This one has uh, cherry, pepper, lactonies. Probably something that like imitates, imitates milk, I think. Oud and incense. I can see maybe a little bit of oud and incense, but it's literally extremely turned down, just in the background. What I'm getting, even though it says only cherry, I'm getting cherry and strawberry. Kind of like a cherry strawberry milkshake. With a tiny, 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 tiny bit of incense in the background and even tinier bit of oud. I'm getting a cherry strawberry milkshake. It's really powdery as well, almost. Don't think uh, Burberry her is not that, no, no, no. Because that one has that like uh, strawberry milkshake in the opening. No, don't think that. It's amazing. It's, mm, it's the best one. It's the best one. I do have a sample of uh, the other new fragrance. The one before this, Voyage à Paris. Do I have it here? I think I don't have it here. I'm going to feature it probably in the next video. That one is amazing as well. Like I love that one as well. Those two are the, their best new releases. The one that's more feminine, obviously, is this one. And the bottle, have you seen the bottle? It's stunning. That pink, it's, it's stunning. I don't know how it performs, okay? But I can tell you from the opening to the dry down, I freaking love it. I feel like this is my favorite from everything that I'm going to mention. Like, it deserves a hype. I know that everyone's talking about it. It deserves 100%. It's amazing. It's stunning. Love it. Now, moving on to something a bit more affordable. Well, not in the UK. I'm going to explain. Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud Tonka. Lots of you told me that I need to try this one. And I went online. I think I can only find it on eBay for £80. I'm sorry, I'm not paying £80 for Swiss Arabian, okay? So I said, I'm going to get a sample first. This is, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, but this one is a dupe for Velvet Tonka from BDK, which is one of the few BDK fragrances that I do not like because... I love my almonds, I love my tonka bean, but that one is just too much. Like that one pulls extremely medicinal on my skin. This one has almond, has cinnamon, has orange blossom, has tonka bean. It's supposed to be a, du a dupe for the BDK one. They're very similar, but this one doesn't pull that um, medicinal on my skin. This one is not medicinal. It still is like a tiny, tiny bit, but BDK, it's, I, I couldn't, I could, I've tried it so many times because I know so many people absolutely love and adore the fragrance. It was not for me. It was definitely not for me. This one is way better if you ask me. Like if you're looking for a dupe, I would get this one instead. If you ask me, it's way better. I'm probably still not going to like it because at the moment I have a billion tonka bean and almond fragrances i do not need another one like if this one was released maybe like two years ago i'll be like yeah there's a scratch you know there's an ick that needs is it is how how do you say it there's an ick that i need to scratch yeah uh for like a tonka almond fragrance right now i have way too many i don't need this but if you're looking for a dupe or if you're looking for that type of fragrance this one is very good this one is really really good good uh moving on one that I don't think it's popular, but I just saw the notes, I saw the box, I was like, oh, let me try it. Um, Paris Corner, again, the one that is making amazing fragrances. Kisa Pink. This one, some of the notes are sugar, coconut, vanilla, apple, jasmine, rose, and violet. Um, as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, this reminds me of something. I was like, I know, I freaking know this, this perfume. And it took me a minute to realize this is very, very similar to Pepe Jeans. Okay, just the original for her. That one is more like a piña colada. Where this one definitely has other things going on. Like it has the apple. It's not... It has the, like those like floral notes. It's a very nice fragrance. But I feel like 
when it comes to spring especially like summery perfumes because that one's a very summery perfume i loved it i had it i had to get rid of it because it literally lasted like two seconds on my skin but the scent i love the scent it literally smells like a pina colada and it's very affordable as well that one i like it but i'm not in love so i'm gonna i'm not gonna purchase it it's similar to that one but it has it's a bit more floral it has some apple it's it's very nice moving on aroma concepts uh batik watermelon i was so curious about this fragrance because people were saying that it smells exactly like it's like a very realistic watermelon and i was like okay let's see this freaking smells like watermelon this is watermelon not like like natural watermelon but if you think of, of like a candy that smells like watermelon it's watermelon yeah that's it dry down though it's not that sweet anymore i wish i wish it stayed a bit sweeter but the opening is just stunning honestly this is like 20 pounds something like that i'm definitely getting a bottle it's just a super fun fragrance like it's just fun you're going to do some groceries it's summertime you want something easy you put this it, it's a fun fragrance it's a juvenile perfume it's not the most like sophisticated it, it, it's a watermelon like what do you expect it's a watermelon perfume it's way better if you ask me than the um dolce and cabana the one that people used to love l'imperatrice i generally i cannot pronounce words in french l'imperatrice three that one um that was fine I mean, it wasn't fine. I didn't like it at all. But it was fine on other people. On my skin, it was meh. Yeah. Um, but this one is good. Try it and see already. I'm, it's not that sweet anymore. And I wish it stayed as sweet as it was in the, in the beginning. But it's still a very nice one. I'm getting a bottle for sure. Especially for that price. Moving on. Well, now it's getting hard. I'm going to have one that I don't particularly like. But all of the other ones... No, I actually have two. One that I don't like and I'm not going to get it. And the other one that it's okay, but I'm not going to get it. But the other ones, I'm going to buy a bottle. I'm going to get a bottle. Let's move on to... Lots of you asked me to review this one as well. From Narcotica, Narco Oasis. You know that I love Dulce Diablo. Everyone thinks for some reason that I got that one in PR. I didn't. They offered me a discount code after I posted my video. I bought that one. And you can't find it in the UK. You have to go from... Um, from I think it was door perfume or something like that um you pay for shipping you pay for taxes you pay for every, all of that and i used i didn't have a code for them but i used sebastian's code he had like a 15 percent off or 20 percent off coupon code uh so this is how i got mine i got mine from america not from here i paid a lot of money for it but it's an amazing amazing fragrance i still love dulce diablo now narco acid because like i said i can't get it's not the cheapest to get a bottle in here, so I had to test it first. Mm. I saw Jackie talking about this one and she really, really liked it. So I was like, I need, I need to try it. Okay, I need to try it because that one sounds very good. Mm. Okay. Passion fruit, vanilla, brown sugar, blood, orange and other notes. But I wrote these ones because these are the main notes for me. I'm definitely getting the blood orange. It's very strong on the passion fruit. It's literally like passion fruit bomb. Don't think Erba Pura, Tiziana Terenzi Kirke, don't think that. It doesn't smell like that, okay? Mm, it's passion, passion fruit with blood orange. And then you're getting like a sweetness that like brown sugar with vanilla. And it's strong. I love it. I'm going to get a bottle. I'm going to get a bottle because I love it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a bottle. Again, I don't know exactly how they perform. I'm going to test it more. So probably I'm not going to get a bottle like today. But I want a bottle. So far, I want a bottle. It's, it's very good. And the other one is Happy Dust. Again, from Narcotica. Happy Dust. I don't know if I need this one as well. Because it's a vanilla. I know. How many vanillas do I need in my collection? It kind of reminds me a bit of Odwell. So that's why. Odu kind of mixed with. Mm, kind of the Odu Toilette. And that's why I'm like. I don't know if I need it. But I like it better than Odwell. And there's a problem. Happy Dust has vanilla, mate, coconut water, 
uh, matcha brown sugar it's just something very dusty like <coughs> literally makes me cough it's something very dusty about it so i don't think you can over spray it and let's see <clears throat> i think i sprayed too much or i like smelled it way too soon but it smells good like it's vanilla with a bit of like that matcha that mate don't think it's too much don't think it's green it is not it has a greenness but it's a sweet sweet greenness if that makes any sense and you're definitely getting the brown sugar and it's powdery like it is powdery but not baby i don't know it's not like powdery as in like iris or always it's not that type of powdery kind of has like a baby powder but without the scent just the texture if that makes sense like imagine baby powder the texture in a scent but without the the, the actual like talc scent smell that does it make sense please let me know if you, i make sense because sometimes when I'm describing a scent, it makes sense in my head, you know? And then when I'm trying to explain, I'm like, um, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I really like it. Oh, I really like it as well. But I do have something that's quite similar, but not quite because... Um, we're gonna see. I'm like, if I'm placing an order, you know, and I have to pay for shipping, isn't that better if I buy both? you know so yeah i don't know i like both of them i might get that one as well we're gonna see okay moving on <sighs> okay this i absolutely hate the name but then i realized i realized it's not actually like a fragrance brand they do like body bottles and things like that this is from pistache skincare pistachio biscotti this is very 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 popular on tiktok everyone is talking about it and it's affordable so i don't know if i can find it in the uk though because i saw everywhere everywhere the prices were in dollars but i'm gonna try to find it because i freaking love it are you joking me are you for real this is it's unbelievable sweet and it smells quite medicinal so it might not be for everyone this one is pistachio with biscuits and then with amaretto so don't think it's just pistachio and biscuits it's going to be amaretto as well this one has cherry biscuit nutty notes which is the pistachio it's unbelievable delicious oh my freaking god it's delicious it's so good again it's not i know i know for a fact it's not going to be for everyone because it has something not medicinal quite it's not medicinal, it's synthetic. It has something synthetic about it. And I know that not everyone is going to love that. But it's so delicious. I need a bottle. I need a bottle. I'm going to buy one. Not now, again. Next month. Just be ready. Okay, moving on. Matier Premier Vanilla Powder. Another vanilla. I was like, I'm not going to blind buy this one. I'm going to test it first let's see i like it but it's not a love it's vanilla coconut powder white mask it's a musky vanilla powdery vanilla not really getting the coconut water it's not a very sweet vanilla though it's a very 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 nice vanilla don't get me wrong but i do have way too many and i do not i generally do not need another one I know that I said the same about the one from Narcotica, but that one just, like, I really like it. This one, it's, it's a like. It's a like. It's a like. For now, I'm not obsessed with it, okay? So, if I'm not obsessed with it, I'm not going to buy it. That's my new rule. Moving on. Montal Lucky Candy. Um, literally, the bottle, the name, don't match the notes or the fragrance at all. It makes absolutely no freaking sense, if you ask me. Lucky Candy has honey, frangipani, marshmallow, coconut, it doesn't. It, it generally doesn't. I'm not getting any of that. I'm getting a sweet floral perfume. No. Nah. Just no. Nah. Why Why is called candy and then you put like super tropical notes and then it smells just like super generic? I don't understand. Now, moving on. Three more perfumes. I've actually tested them at Exans. But I didn't have a sample and I didn't test them properly. 
so i said you know i need to know which one i want to purchase and then i want all of them um before i do like i was i was like i had them in the card i had two of them in the card and then i realized i really liked another one and then i was confused so i just got some samples i'm talking about born to stand out the first one it's one of the newest release and this one is happy nuts what um an interesting name i love it oh, i love it oh it makes sense why i love it it just makes sense this one has almonds pistachio caramel rum honey sesame patchouli you're getting a tiny bit of patchouli we are definitely getting a very realistic caramel and you're getting some like nuttiness it's pistachio it's definitely more pistachio than almonds don't think my fragrance because like when you look at the notes you have almonds pistachio honey don't think baklava royale they don't smell the same at all nothing in common nothing okay nothing this one is definitely boozy it's like a caramel is like rum with caramel so kind of imagine like an irish cream but like a caramel irish cream if that makes sense with a tiny bit of piece of um patchouli and then you're getting some pistachio and some nuts as well this is what and you put some honey in it as well you put some honey oh it's good it's sweet and gourmand but it's not photorealistic gourmand if that makes sense like it's still wearable oh it's good it's good it's good, it's good. i want the bottle i love the i love the bottles i love the aesthetic okay i love the bottles so i need the bottle and i really like that one but i really like as well nanatopia nanatopia is a banana fragrance okay it's so freaking real it's like those banana not jellies you know the, the fluffy ones they're like jellies but like, like not gummies not gummy bear like, you, i'm gonna insert a picture it's not like that the only thing with this one has rum banana nutmeg and cypriol oil the cypriol oil for me kind of smells like patchouli in this fragrance it gives you like a patchouli vibe and it's getting stronger and stronger in the dry down. I just wish it stayed a bit more gourmand how it is in the opening. But definitely getting that like banana, that candy with rum. I'm getting the rum for sure now. And slowly but surely I'm getting that cypriol oil. I need to test this one more. It's a big, 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 big like. I'm just not sure about the dry down. I didn't have the dry down on my skin to see how, you know, how it works. And the last one. They're gonna buy i know for sure sugar addict again the last one from born to stand out oh it's so nice it's so cozy it's so good it's so this one has sugar rum vanilla cashmere wood if you think of fragrances like lost in a dream or commodity milk or that type of, of like you no know, milky cozy fragrances this is one of them by getting something slightly boozy and sugary it's not too sweet don't think it's too sweet i know the name is sugar addict it's definitely not too sweet this one is more like a skin scent it's not like it performs like a skin scent but it feels like it should stay closer to the skin you know it's that type of fragrance where the, the other ones everyone should smell them oh i really like it i'm definitely definitely getting happy nuts and I'm kind of in between those two. It's like with Sugar Addict, I do have others that are quite similar. I do really like it as well. And then Nanatopia, I don't have anything that's similar to this one. But I need to test more the dry down, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, I'm definitely 100% I need to get uh, Severin from Fragrance Dubois. It's freaking amazing. I'm definitely going to get the um, Watermelon, the Batik Watermelon. Definitely getting that one. Uh, pistachio biscotti 100% getting that one okay narcotica i might get both of them and then from born to stand out i'm probably gonna, gonna get two and then i really I, like i said this one it's impossible for me to find i'm still gonna try and then i need i definitely need the memoirs one i really really like it i feel like it's an amazing everyday type of scent um I'm gonna think about the shampoo one because 
I'm not really into wood that much, but I do really like it. But I'm, go I'm gonna I'm gonna put everything on a wish list, you know. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see from there. But I'm definitely from this fifteen. I think I'm gonna get like seven eight maybe the second part you're gonna see second part i don't have that many that i love and there are some very popular ones that i was kind of surprised i didn't love if that makes sense uh but yeah let me know i want to know i want to know your thoughts i want to know your opinion on um, these fragrances are they worth the hype obviously some of them are very hyped up some of them are actually not they're just new releases but let me know have you tested them do you like them um do you not like them i want to know your opinion should i get the ones i got do i have way too many a 600 too many is definitely too many but can i buy more i want to buy more let me know in the comments down below uh yeah that was it for today thanks for watching if you like this video obviously don't forget don't forget to give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next one Bye bye